lay on my back, okay? I'm gonna lay on my back and I'm gonna have a balloon. This it would be great if you could do this uh, with a sibling or family member. Um, it would just make it easier, okay? So let's watch this video of me doing the activity. So I'm laying on my back, hands are ready, I'm catching the balloon, okay? And obviously I'm by myself right now, um, so there's no one to drop it for me. But, you know, it'd be great if someone could drop it for you, it'd make it much easier, you know? Yeah, so that's all it is. Getting those, making sure those hands are working together, um, and we want to catch the ball. Do we want to hit it? No, oh, we want to be nice and controlled catching the ball. Um, I mean, balloon with your hands. Um, if we don't, if you don't have balloons at your house, <clears throat> you could have like a, a Kroger uh, plastic baggie um, that you drop because that ball, that balloon is going to float. Uh, eh, that plastic bag is going to float and it's a catch. Um, so that that would be something good. You could also use uh, you know a, a safe ball that might be a little bit softer. Um, and I would say you'd want the ball to be a decent sized ball. If you were to drop this ball, it's gonna move really fast. It's it's kind of tougher to catch. If it was a bigger ball, that might be helpful. And making sure you're if you drop it, you drop it from a, a safe distance above whoever uh, you're working with. Um, and you know making sure whoever is catching has their hands ready so that they're able to catch it. Okay, um, you know. And, uh, you know, whoever my student is, you know, could be doing these, uh, can catch. But they can also drop for a sibling or parent to, to do this also because this is a great way to, you know, have fun with each other. All right, friends, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye.